Hi, this is Jason. Welcome to Famous People Are. <laughs> Today's Famous People Are. <laughs> I'll be talking about Diamond Dave himself, David Lee Roth. It's probably going to be my most controversial episode yet. At least one of my most controversial episodes. I think the Axe Pac thing is going to be still controversial. Yeah, but the thing about David Lee Roth is he's a very charismatic frontman. During his prime, during his day with Van Halen, he was one of prime frontman, but he's never known to be a really good singer. He could dance, he could do some sword flips and kick flips and all that, and do all, like, makes people, like, gravitate towards uh, David Lee Roth, but the thing about it is, is that his shtick has gone pretty old for a while. I think he should just change it up just for a little bit. I'm not saying he should go, like, the way of David Bowie or Madonna, but in a way, like, he should just, like, just do a little bit different. Like, just, like, um, change your persona up a little bit. And here's the thing about David Lee Roth is, he performed way longer than he should. From that one example, like, a few years ago from Las Vegas when he sang, uh, Dance the Night Away. Oof. Well, that was fucking brutal, wasn't it? Oof. Go, go search on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. That dude sounded like he had an aneurysm. That dude sounded like he was about to have a stroke. Uh, have you seen her? Oh my god. There's a reason why concerts have backing tracks, Ed. You want to hear Eddie? You want to hear David Roth sing like that? No, I think I, I think at this point I prefer backing tracks. I just prefer the experience of seeing David Lee Roth. Luckily, when I was over at that Van Halen concert with Jesse and um, and Dina, he was good. He was all right. I mean, like I said, he wasn't really the best singer, obviously. He does a lot of stunts. At least he didn't do the whole carnival barking shtick like he usually does. At least when I was over at um, Auburn, Washington for the White River Amphitheater. When I saw Van Halen in concert. They were all great. Eddie Van Halen was terrific, Alex Van Halen was terrific, even Eddie's son, like, uh, Wolfgang was terrific on bass, although I'd much rather prefer, like, Michael Anthony, but hey, at least I got to see three-fourths of the original Van Halen. Anyway. And he goes, like, um, makes all these lies, like, uh, similar to what Hulk Hogan's doing, like, he'll, he'll come, like, with some Lies, lies, lies. You're just like, oh, God. Just get him off the mic, please. <laughs> your time is up, man. You had your time. Now it's time to go away. <laughs> yeah, like I said, when he, when he led Van Halen to the, those albums, those albums were better. But let's, let's, let's look at it this way. I compare Sammy Hagar and David Goff to, like, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. Corey Haim's the much better actor. Just like Sammy Hagar is a much better overall artist. While David Lee Roth and Corey Feldman, they happen to be like in better projects. More, you know, groundbreaking, people talk about projects. By association. So, Sammy Hagar's Corey Haim and David Lee Roth's Corey Feldman. That's how I look at that way with the front of Van Halen. So, anyway, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you later.